Hey, what it do, YouTube family? It's your boy Marcus, and today I am back with another video of today's video. But hey, before we get down with this video of today, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and share this video out as well. So, oh, and, and a happy this Sunday to all of you. But well, let's get this going. What's so funny, TSM? What's so funny? <laughs> It's Marcus, the two two fly. It's Marcus, be the YouTube guy. It's Marcus, two fly. It's, it's Marcus, the two two fly. It's Marcus, be the YouTube guy. It's Marcus, won't you go and hit that like? It's Marcus, won't you go and subscribe? It's Marcus, he two two fly. It's Marcus, be the YouTube guy. It's Marcus, won't you go and hit that like? It's Marcus, won't you go and subscribe? It's Marcus, he two two fly. It's Marcus. You know, people in the gym be asking me, like, uh, what do you do for a living? All I just, all I just say, I just told them this, like, I just, you, I just do, like, YouTube, I just do vlogging and, and eat and exercise daily, too. Well, you see, I, well, you see, I try to eat less and exercise more. Ooh, just look at me. And people be asking me, like, uh, Marcus, are you on steroids or something? And I said, like, I don't need steroids to make myself bigger. You know what I mean? Naturally, you see the muscles I got here. These are natural born muscles But what people don't see what they're doing wrong when they're trying to get big muscles like you see some people be taking steroids and Stuff like that and steroids is a cheating way to get muscles Like and you know cheating never pays Because you see it's like this it's, I just work out I just work out, that's it. Like eat less and exercise more. Like sometimes on my rest days, well, Sunday is my rest day, so I am going for a walk later on when it cools down. And that's and that's about it. And also I'm gonna do some and also what I do for rest days is dance too. Well sometimes I do some dancing, sometimes I don't. Oh and also you know you know us you know something else? I don't want to be a bodybuilder. I'm a calisthenic. But yeah, as you already gaining some muscles, I'm trying to gain some lean muscles, you see. But it's like I was saying, I don't need to be a bodybuilder. I am a calisthenic. Yep, that's the truth. You see, you can actually build muscles in calisthenics, but some people say you can't. Well, I say sure you can. You see, calisthenics is one of those body weight workouts. It means you're working out your own body. Well, sometimes you can, sometimes you can mix it up with weights, but sometimes, sometimes in things you see, you don't need machines to help you. So, you don't need machines to help you in calisthenics. But now, you see, now what I'm doing now. Is that I'm doing some I'm doing push-ups and I'm doing great push-ups and sit-ups too. So yeah, sometimes I do need machines and sometimes I don't need machines to help me. But well, 
I'm just doing, I'm just doing what I, I like to do. That's all. You see, you see, like bodybuilding is like when you're trying to get very huge. And sometimes, you know, when you're huge, it's kind of hard for you to reach your back too, especially when you're going up big and swole like that. But with calisthenics, you see, we. But in calisthenics, you see, you got the flexibility. You gotta be all flexible and stuff like that. I mean, bodybuild and body for well, bodybuilders, yes, they do got, they do got some, they do lift strong weights, heavy weights and stuff like that. Yeah, they may be stronger than calisthenics are, but they got the, yeah, I mean that may be so. They may be bigger than we are, but they gotta have the flexibility though to do that. And when you have flexibility, it means you're working on your whole core and everything. It's a little simple. It's very simple once you practice. You see, whenever you practice, because you know what? Practice make perfect. But yeah. But you see, I guess that's it in the video right now. But if you guys do like this video, be sure you give this thing a thumbs up. Oh, and one more thing about and one more thing about working out. When you're working out. You don't have to do it to impress people. You just do it. You just do it to what you you're comfortable with. Like and don't let nobody tell you wrong. Just do you. You see, I had learned that from my situation. <laughs> when I first started going to the gym, I was a rookie. Like you see, everybody was bigger than I am. You see, everybody was bigger and muscular than I than I was. <laughs> and I feel like I ready to lift some heavy weights and I thought I was still got it. I was like, I thought I could still lift some heavy weights though. And I was like, mm, oh my God, what am I, what is going on here? What am I doing wrong? But until one guy taught me this, but until one guy said like, you gotta start off small before you go big. You know, like as the old, you know, like they said like, you gotta learn to crawl before you learn to walk. And before you learn to walk, you must learn to crawl. So, so that's exactly what I did. I just learned to crawl, and now look at me. I can lift some. I can lift almost every heavy weight. Well, well, the 110 pound weight. Well, uh, that's gonna have to wait a while. But, but it's worth it. You know, slow and steady wins the race. Just think about it. Just think of it. Give me in a, give me in a few years, you'll see. I mean, give me give me the, give me the next uh, five years, you'll see how big and swole I'll be getting. You'll see how big I'll be getting soon. Yeah, give me the next five years, you'll see. Yeah, slow and steady wins the race. You know, just like from the tortoise and the hare. Like you see, the hare, he was just rushing it, like rushing to win the race, but. The tortoise was taking his time to win the race. Like he's going at a steady speed, a a steady speed. Like at before the, you see, the hare was almost at the finish line until he done tired himself out. Yep, until he done tired himself out, and he went, and he took a long, long nap until he see that the tortoise, until he see that the tortoise done passed him up, and by the time the hare tried to get to the finish line. It was too late. The tortoise already won. So, yep, it's true. Slow and steady wins the race. But, well, now that's it in the video right now. But if you guys do like this video, be sure you give this thing a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and share this video out. So, I'll see you next time in the spot. Audio Jungle.